Hey y'all, uh, JT Shimo here. I then made a video in a little bit, so I decided I'll go ahead and do one today. I'm actually starting something um, new for the next 30 days. I will be uploading a video every day. Um, even if I don't have something specific to talk about, I'm going to make sure I find a topic that suits whatever is going on with me at that, that time, whatever I feel like can relate to you all, and just talk about it. Um, I will also, in the midst of those videos and those days, I will work on creating live videos as well. So that way I can get into the habit of doing so. Why I'm doing the 30-day challenge? Um, for a number of reasons. Mostly is to grow my, of course, my um, media, social media accounts. And to be more vocal, to be more present, as well as being able to show my face more. So that way when... I am on stage and talking to tens of thousands of people, I can actually have this behind me and give me more confidence to do that. Because it's one thing to talk behind a camera because I can edit the videos, I can actually go ahead and put whatever effects I want to, but if I'm talking to thousands of people in person, that's going to be a totally different type of ball game. So, And it's not to say that I've never actually been in a... a type of environment like that where I have stood in front of people and I've had to voice my opinion or whatever it is but not to that extent so that's where I'm trying to get to and for me doing these videos and just having you all come in and speak with me it it helps motivate me a lot to continue to do more and continue to reach down inside of myself to do to know what I can do to be the best person that I can be and to motivate others at the same time all right so um, with this video I actually been making a list of topics I wanted to talk about, and on this one I want to talk to you guys about fear. Uh, fear is a big thing uh, for me. It personally has kind of crippled a lot of my decisions in life. Um, really coming up up until this point, I recently haven't had to deal with fear as much, but every once in a while it'll creep up on me to where I will need to take action on something. But instead of actually doing that, I will talk myself out of it. And that's another form of fear. We're not necessarily being scared and being afraid, but more so being cautious as to take that next step. To see where you can actually take yourself and what could happen once you get to the other side. A lot of times we think that things could get worse. Things might not work in our favor or we might not be good at it. So a lot of times we have to get that out of our mind and just go for it. A lot of times what I had to do to conquer fear in the past, especially had to do with building up my self-confidence. Because I mean, there was a time where I didn't think I was worth shit. You know, I didn't think that whatever I had to offer was, any, was that anybody needed to hear or listen to. But the crazy thing about it is during those times is when... I felt like I had put my best self out there and it was the most vulnerable. And because I was that way, it made it easier for people to communicate with me. It made it easier for people to reach out and to speak to me about even their own situations. And I don't even have to ask them about it. And it always is up until this day. Actually, I get people that do this all the time where I could just be in, in their presence and automatically we'll start a conversation about something very simple. And it'll turn to something very personal. And all I can do is sit and listen to it. You know, that's all I can really do. So, I've noticed using that, that is my power. That is what my supernatural ability is when it comes to communicating with others. And I got that from learning how to get out of my own fear. How to build up my own self-confidence. And by just going to the other side and just doing it and not overthinking. Because I'm the type of person that overthinks everything. Okay? And... Shit, I'm going to say the last 10 years plus, every decision that I would make, I would literally go through this whole list of what could happen in my mind and then talk myself out of it. You know what I mean? And not realizing that all I'm doing is, is limiting myself. When I could just do whatever it is that I already have planned on doing and go with the positives of that thing and then see what happens. Because the worst that could happen is that it might not work. And it might not work in your favor at that time, but that doesn't mean that it's bad for you. Does that make sense? Because a lot of times, if you're just looking at the bad things, you're not going to want to do it again. You know what I mean? So if you can do something that you might even fail at it once or twice or 10,000 times, but you look at it as, these are the methods that, that didn't work. This is what I need to try next. You know what I mean? And that's the type of mindset that I started developing for myself 
so that way I can be a better person, a better individual, and to be better understand where I was currently at at that time. And also help me to bring that to others' attention. So that way they can know what they need to do and also would not be discouraged when something doesn't work out for them. And I'll even tie it on to fear and the topic I have noticed just yesterday. Actually, I do this to myself a lot. Um, if I'm not trying to talk myself out of something, which it used to be flipped. Because you guys know I have an alter ego. And you know my nigga's name is Jason. So when it used to be at a time where I would down talk myself like hell, right? And then there'd be the little voice in my head that'd be like, look, bro, you need to like chill out, take time for yourself, come back at it again, and you got this, right? Because that was back then. It used to be like, it was like a 90-10 type thing. Like it was 90% of the time I'm down playing myself. The other 10% is when you get, I hear the little voice every once in a while. So now it's flipped. Right, so now I actually found myself where I would say, "This is not gonna work. This is what's gonna happen if I try to do this. This is what's gonna, what's gonna go down if I go with this feeling, and instead of just hindering myself and just let let it ride, let's see what happens, and not actually take that route." Here come the other voice, and just overpowers that. So now instead of me just feeling like I can't do this shit, like I'm really not as bad as I think that I am. The other voice is like, man, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you been had this. Like, the only reason that you're even thinking about this now, like this, is because of such and such. You know what I mean? So, it's like, when you change your mind frame and you start developing a different type of self, especially being more aware of where you are, of where you have been, and where you're trying to get to, all of that ties into how you're going to treat yourself. So, that's something that it definitely showed where I, will, I actually am at. And I'm a type of person I don't ever feel as though I'm making enough changes or I'm evolving fast enough. I always feel like I'm stagnant. But, of course, you get your little milestones where you do find that the periods of success. You know what I mean? But to me, they're very minuscule. But everybody else might think it's huge. So, this is why it's also important to celebrate those little successes, those little wins that you do get to celebrate them, acknowledge them because they are a part of your growth. And the more you keep downplaying yourself, down talking yourself, the more you're going to keep chipping at your self-confidence. And that's something that you definitely don't want to do. I'm going to have to call it back. That's something that you definitely don't want to do. So with that, I definitely make sure I use fear to my benefit. Make sure that I use that as a strength so instead of when those little thoughts come into play and i start thinking about well this is what's going to happen i really don't want to go down this route or i'm scared of what this person might say instead i just be like man i already know what i want to do let's just do it and see what happens and go from there because that's what's in it it, it can only it, it can only get worse if you don't try so go ahead and try it out, see what happens, and then you work out whatever happens after the fact. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you never know. Best opportunities happen when you least expect them. So that's how I see life, and life is full of opportunities, especially on a daily. And you need to take those as they come, right? Because a lot of, if it's a, especially if it's a, a great opportunity that's meant for you, it might not come more than once. So if, it, if it's only that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, take it, all right? Because that could be just for you. All right, so that's it. Go ahead and return this phone call. Um, my business has been getting a lot better. This is the mind frame that I have now, the work ethic that I've been developing, the distractions that I used to have that are no longer hindering my success are definitely helping me, and I'm going to be helping you guys at the same time. I really appreciate you guys. I love you all so very much. Um, it's Friday. It's a beautiful fucking day today, even if it's raining. I don't care because I feel great. And I want you guys to feel great as well. So on that note, I'll catch you guys on the next time, which will be tomorrow, because it's day one of day third of 30 days. Remember that. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right.